Hey everyone, Miss Abreu here. I want to show you what it's like to use a scanning app to scan a document. I'm going to use the Scannable app on my iPhone 11. And so the first thing I'm going to do is fire up the Scannable app. Uh, and when I do that, the app will immediately start looking for a document. So I'm going to hover my phone over this piece of paper and then Scannable automatically detects it, takes a picture of it, and then makes it a whole lot nicer, right? It gets it that nice scanning kind of look. I'm gonna do this twice because when you submit homework assignments, my guess is they're more than likely gonna be multiple pages. So I want you to see what it's like to use the Scannable app for multiple pages. So I did this twice now. Once you're done scanning all of your pages, just, ooh, that's not the best scan. <laughs> Tap on one of those images and it gets you to this next interface. So here you can reorder the pictures, right? So maybe I want this image first, all right? If you look at that gray circle there, that's your editing menu. Um, maybe you wanna crop this, and I, I could try to crop this. This wasn't the greatest scan. It had some, some borders on it, so I can move these so it just looks a little bit nicer. It's not gonna be perfect because the scan itself was crooked, which is fine. I just want you to see the options here. Once you're done, editing your individual images. The next thing you can take a look at is the phrase on the screen that says scannable document. And to the right of that is a little PDF icon. And that's great, that's what you want. I want you to submit your assignments as a PDF file because that makes it possible for me to grade them. When you submit them as JPEGs, um, it gets really messed up on my side of things. If you had another teacher that wanted an image, if you click on that PDF icon, if I click there, I can start to toggle between sending my files as PDFs or sending them as images. I'm going to leave it as a PDF because that's, that's what I want. So once you're done there, go ahead and either send it or save it. You would save it to your device, which probably isn't what you want. I usually hit send. You can email it to yourself or I tend to share it. So at least on the iPhone, this is the interface. So I, I could send it to any of these friends of mine, right? Or I could send it to my husband. I'm sure he wants it. Um, you could email it to yourself if you want. But what I would typically recommend is going to the student app for Canvas and submitting your assignment. Now, if you don't see this app popping up in your options, just scroll until you see more. And as long as you've downloaded this um, student Canvas app, you'll be able to see it. I'm going to click on student in a moment and keep in mind these are going to list the canvas courses i'm taking as a student not the ones that i'm teaching as a teacher and and this will look different for you than it will for me so let's say i was still in oh i might have tapped that too far i'm going to go to the correct course all right let's say i was still in oesp i would click on that class and then i would find the specific assignment that i need so maybe it's my tech task to edit my Canvas profile. And you can type a comment if you want, and then hit submit. Now, personally, I'm not gonna hit submit right now because my teacher does not need to see this. So I'm gonna hit cancel, all right? And let me get out of this as well. And one last thing I just wanna mention before we go. If you take an extra picture, you don't want to send all of these, these images. You can select them or deselect them and then pick the ones you want, right? Or you can just hit select all and you can toggle these on and off as you want. And whatever has the little turquoise check mark, then when you share it, that are, those are the pages that will be converted to a PDF into one file and submitted on Canvas. All right, so thanks so much, everyone. If you have any questions, just let me know. Take care. Bye.